Hello guys, this is Pool Cable back with another video and today we're going to be using Tank Medics and probably my favourite strategy in Boom Beach at the moment is just an amazing strategy and I'm going to be taking down NPC bases and player bases and show you guys how strong this strategy is. Also guys, I've been saving up my gunpowder at the moment, not gunpowder, power powder at the moment and as you can see I've got 325 power powder and that's a lot of power powder for some guys. The key is just don't spend as much, be very careful on how you spend your uh, power powder and um, uh, don't just uh, start splashing about power powder for only like, I'm just, don't do boosted attacks if you're not going to be completely clearing your map or doing a lot of attacks, don't just uh, boost for one base or stuff like that, um, do be careful with your power powder because it um, it's always good to have quite a lot of power powder. Obviously, maybe not as much as much as me. I, I think I go over the top. I'm quite. Uh, I like to keep quite a lot of power powder. So um, we're going to be taking this base down. We've got the three uh, boom cannons in the right hand side here. We're just going to be going in down here as well. The fact is with the tank medics, since I am um, evenly distributing the amount of medics the tanks. Um, they, they always keep themselves pretty much healed up. You'll see here, I'm going to let them go through these boom mines, but these medics will heal the tanks up really fast, so it's very, very effective. So we're just going to be finishing off these uh, towers here. And tank medics, the main the main problem is the, the cannons and the boom cannons. Obviously, boom cannons more than cannons. Um, so you just keep them shocked uh, and uh, use your artilleries and barrages wisely. Um, mortars, flamethrowers, sniper towers can be a wee bit dangerous, but uh, you just work your way through the base. And it, any the, the the fact that I love this technique so much, this strategy so much is um, it just you can do a lot of attacks um in pretty short periods of time, and you'll lose no troops. So it's quite easy to clear your map. Um, uh, if you if I was boosting, I would always boost with tank medics. Just the fact, because they are a very good strategy, and they'll just rip through all your map, and you'll lose very little troops. The only problem is, if you're not good with tank medics, and you, they are pretty underleveled, I would recommend not using them. These are max tank medics, because you will lose troops, and they have a they have quite a high cost, and obviously training time as well. So um, yeah, I would not recommend using them if you're not got a decent level the uh, tank medics. Um, I know someone that just uses full tanks and doesn't have his medics uh, uh, max them. They're okay. Full tanks are okay, but you will lose tanks, so um, it's not as good as tank medics. So um, this is another NPC base here. We're just going to be going from the left-hand side. I've never actually uh, attempted some of these NPC bases. We're just going in blind, and I can sort of see how how uh, the strategy is to take these out. So we'll just go in here. Um Lay the tanks first, let them move up slightly, then we place the medics, then they'll start healing, and the medics and the tanks just work so well together. Now, I don't think we should have any problem taking this base down. I'm going to be taking the shock just to speed things up. And we won't even need to take this boom cannon, hopefully we won't, but um, I'm probably just going to aim on it anyway, just because it's either that or... Or we go and get interfered with these cannons here. So we're just going to be taking that down. Um, left side. A few critters. And a nice med kit to heal them up. So it's looking good so far. Working in the left hand side. We're just going to place a nice shock here. You can always be a bit, a bit aggressive with the attack medics as well. I could flare straight towards uh, a Pacific building and they won't take much damage. So uh, attack medics are a really, really good strategy. Um, the only problem is attack medics are uh, not the best for operation attacks. Um, operation attacks below... I'm not really sure. Sometimes the boosts, it gets too far for them. I think lower level uh, bases are very good attack medics, but higher level that's your heavy zooka and your your old zooka and stuff like that so um yeah that's probably more effective later on um and then you just get up to the point where it's just all zookas are all uh, warriors that's that's when the really high ones like uh, massive attack uh, um dead end and stuff like that 
So um, let's take another NBC base. Now this is probably one of the ones I find a wee bit harder. Uh, but the, this is uh, actually quite easy as well. Um, we'll just be taking these uh, boom cannons out straight away because these uh, are important to take out. You can avoid them if you flare very far right but it just saves a lot of uh, effort. So we're going to be taking these two shock launchers out, placing the troops bottom left hand corner. Take that shock out. Now it's not really much of a problem. It's just the cannons which we can get a shock in and get at least two of the cannons out. One cannon is not going to be much of a problem. And them rockets certainly don't do uh, damage. I keep forgetting sometimes that there's no point in taking the, the rockets out because the ca the rockets do absolutely no damage when there's uh, tanks and medics together. So you just let them walk up. Um, I'm actually just probably going to be laying uh, two boxes of critters on the bottom rocket launcher. Just to take that out and make it a lot life a lot easier for the medics because the medics uh, need a little bit more and then we're just going to be flaring over to the right hand side unnecessary to take this sniper tower I'm just doing it just to speed the the time up and then two boxes of critters actually managed to take out both of the rocket launchers which is great and we're on the base and you guys obviously know this is going to be a takedown and that's it taken down right now so that's uh, another really easy NBC base so I'm probably going to be moving over to player bases now as you can see I've still lost no troops I can rip through my map and it's so so effective so uh, let's see if we can take down you know, we'll try a 53 I, I can't remember what this space is like right um, let's have a look any prototype defenses no right there's no prototype defense that I can see so Oh, the look at that players online. Great, that's just great. And let's try this fifty-one out. Um, there's one on the beach, which is a problem. Once you're out, once you're off the beach, you could. I think this should be fine. This, yeah, this is fine, right? I just need to keep them shocked at the start, and it should be no problem at all. So I'm going to double critter, get them all in straight away. We actually have two doom cannons so we're gonna get that we're not gonna be able to shock that other doom cannon though so I'm just gonna keep the they're all single shot uh, defenses so I'm just gonna keep the critters out just now which is perfect then we're gonna be flaring over to this doom cannon get a nice shock away because we need them doom cannons out as quick as possible and once that's down we're gonna be flaring back over here to this cannon Still lost no troops, which is great. Um, probably going to have to sh quickly get a smoke in there, just in case that last can at the bottom here actually um, decides to attack it. So other than this, we could really just uh, flare our way around. We could actually flare all the way up here if we really did not mean to do that, but should be fine. We're just going to shock that uh, boom can in there. Shouldn't be much of a problem. I'm just worrying about this uh, one tank that's got really low health. Um, I'm going to have to get a smoke in here because this uh, boom cannon is going to target that medic. No, it's fine. We're getting hammered by uh, splash damage at the moment. We're going to get another smoke in there quickly. Then we're going to reflare back up to the top. This is a wee bit messy, but um, we're handling it okay at the moment. It's really messy. We're going to do one more smoke. Um, we've lost one medic. And um, one medic only, that was probably because of one of the single shot targets, uh, but that's absolutely fine. One medic is, is okay. You can see here that we're, we've got them, as long as we keep the medics alive, uh, everything goes smooth and everything is well. The, see, see, the shock launchers are not really much of a damage, they just are really annoying and waste a lot of time because well, tank medics do take quite a long time to take them bases, so you really do need to watch out for that. Um, we are working through the base pretty well we're gonna obviously take this down just time is at the essence here I think we'll still do it though I'm gonna shock the shock launcher because just to get the troops moving up a little bit faster take that shock launcher out I'm just gonna let them reflare in now over here everything should go well I'm just gonna get one more smoke 
it's not really going to make any difference just for the medics because that cannon might take one shot on them and they're on the base and only that rocket's really firing at them and that is going to be a takedown so as you can see here the tank medics are very easily maneuvered we were doing a lot of fiddling about with flares and smokes but if you're a good skilled player tank medics is a very very strong strategy so um that's pretty much it guys uh, one medic lost the whole video uh, so I hope you guys really enjoyed the video please subscribe and like this video and and tell me if what other kind of videos you want me to do other kind of strategies I think I've done a lot of strategies by now um I'll just quickly show you my my troop levels just to show you guys get an idea of what kind of videos I could possibly do I've got all the troops I've got max heavies uh, Zookas, uh, medics, tanks, I've got artillery, flares, ma uh, really only thing I really don't, haven't really touched is the, well the, well, the warriors are only level 15, which is actually a surprise for a lot of people because uh, but probably one of the most used troops, I just don't, I stay away from warriors, it's a bit repetitive, I don't really like it that much, um, I, um, and we've got the grenaders level 1 and the scorchers level 1, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do after this. I'm probably going to get the med kits up to the max level and then I'll maybe go on warriors and then I'll go on to critters and then I'll go on to scorchers and I'll leave grenaders for last because as you guys all know, grenaders are not the best troop in the in the game by a lot of uh, other YouTubers' videos and if you have them maxed yourself, uh, it's not the best. So if you guys really enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.